going on, FM fam? How's everybody's day? I know we did the Mac, uh, two of the Mac flyers, but uh, somebody requested a Mac co flyer. I told them, all right, my dude, I will get that uh, done for you. Now, I was supposed to do this yesterday and I ran out of time because, uh, you know, I'm still, I'm, I, I work. I have a nine to five, well, basically a nine to whatever time I get off of work. So with, with all that being said, I need y'all to do me a favor before we get through this freaking Matco flyer. I need y'all to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And please, if you can, join the FM fam down below. Official FM fam. Uh, we're sitting at about 30 members, so let's get that number up a little bit, yeah? All right, guys, we're going to get right into this right here. So right off the rip, we got a uh, number 10 flyer, as y'all see right there. We're looking at May 6th through the 28th. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I haven't seen that. Let me look at that. Okay, you can look at it when I post it. Give me that shit right now. No, no, you can look at it when I post it. You see the guy? Right They're trying to jack me for some views. All right, let's let's dive right into it. Let's light up that computer screen back there. Oh, shoot, I'm forgetting. Uh, we get this free ADV Torx bit socket set with the purchase of the long. Okay, we got a long quarter, three eighths and half inch drive 13 piece set. I'm liking that. Y'all know I love me some AD. Oh. Y'all know I love me some ADV and some Matco stuff, although I use Expert a lot. Now up in the top, you see that 1600 foot pounds of breakaway torque, baby. And must I say that gun right there can I say good? No, that impact is a monster, monster, all right? Look at that. Mm. It's actually coming down in price because usually it's, because it doesn't say sell, but usually that thing is topping out at almost $1,000. Okay, now we do have the mid torque, which is gonna be pumping out 650 foot pounds of breakaway torque on the uh, 20 volt, five amp hour battery. Yes, I got all of it. I even have the current 3.8 stubby version and the older version 3.8. Uh, this one's about half the torque of this one. And then we got the 16 volt Infinium quarter inch drive sealed head ratchet kits. Ratchet kits, okay? It's coming with batteries and a charger and of course the tool. And we're looking at 300 RPM for $500. Matco's actually coming down in their prices with that because uh, normally when they say a kit for the Infinium stuff, you're looking at almost $600. Uh, so I think they're trying to compete with Milwaukee. Uh, thin is in, uh, 245 P, uh, $245 for the five piece extended metric. Set a uh, four piece extended SAE, extended SAE, and four piece SAE. Um, let me see what sizes y'all see the sizes right i'll zoom in if i need to then flat wrench sets um okay so four piece bearing race punch set <clears throat> for punching out races and bearings i'm assuming uh we got an eight piece 72 t tooth sae combo flex ratchet wrench kit set normally you know I, I look for that right there if it says sae or metric i'm out i'm done i'm done looking at it but with making these videos, I pay attention a little more uh, for y'all. Coming up in the corner, we have a quarter inch drive, 48 piece metric and SAE, six point standard and deep ADV set. Oh, that's not bad. I think I have that set at home. I don't remember. I have something like that. I have something like that. Not, I, I, I really can't remember, but it is a good set. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, three A's drive, three piece lock-in impact extension set. Um, that set actually looks a lot like the set I got from Amazon. Wouldn't you say these things look the same? Oh no, never mind. There's a little, there's a third collar right there, and this one don't got it. But still, same thing. And this is just a. Uh, oh no, this is actually Mac. I am tripping. Never mind. I just made myself look like a, a fool. Now I don't know where my 12 inch. Do I even have a 12 inch? I don't know. 
Uh, moving right along, we got quarter inch, three eighths drive, 11 piece ADV, five point tamper proof Torx. Uh, you gotta be careful with those tamper proofs. They're a li little bit easier to break because they got that hole in the middle. Uh, half inch drive, five piece ADV adapter and extension. So it looks like we got like a, what is it? Um, we got a half inch to three eighths. We got a three quarter. We got a half inch to three eighths and a half inch to three quarter. We got a wobble and then we got two extensions. I can't see what extensions those are. Oh, three and five. Three inch and five inch extension. Not a two inch, but a three inch and a five inch. Now we got a four piece top torque two precision screwdriver set. We got red, we got green, we got orange. Okay, for $45, less than 50 bucks. Not a, not, not bad, not bad, not bad. Um, cooling system. Oh, that's the air powered one. I didn't even realize that. I, oh my God, online mechanic tips be talking that pressure tester up. So I think I'm gonna have to get me one real, real soon. Air power. Okay, good thing y'all, good. Jason, thank you for making me do this flyer, my dude. We need that, uh, $265, uh, J, uh, JT. Online mechanic tips. Look, bro, that's what you need right there. Uh, you just did a video on that not too long ago. Hundred. Uh, actually, that's two hundred. Yeah, and then of course all the different adapters. That's a little high for the adapters, but anyways. $102 for the hydraulic brake caliper press. Uh, that's kind of up there, but whatever. Um, you could probably do better with uh, vice grips <laughs> or C-channel or whatever. Uh, $173 for a 16-piece quarter-inch drive twist socket set. Extractors, I'm believing. Uh, hub assembly remover down south. Down here in the south, we don't really need this much, but to each their own. Um, I did battle one today on a quest that I probably could have used this. I just beat the hell out of it and it came out. Uh, truck cage bolt socket. Is that for the, the the brakes? I don't know, but that I thought you're not ever supposed to take that center bolt out. That looks a little bit scary. But for you truck guys, there you go, $25. Adjustable coil on plug probe. That works good for, you know, not having to take the intake off. Whew, y'all know how that goes. Get your together, man. Get it together. Adjustable parts mark magnet uh, parts tray. Sixty dollars. That's not bad. I actually might get me one. Hmm. And then we got a collapsible magnet parts tray. Uh, this thing actually holds together like this. I I wish, you know, it, it should come apart. It, it is what it is. Uh, it's a good way to separate different things. Um, if you're got a lot of different nuts and bolts on a project that you're doing so i see the use in that uh 20 for a stainless steel magnetic parts tray i've never been a fan of these even though i have them the magnet always ends up detaching from the tray then we have the mini jump three portable drum starter and power source with wireless charging uh that my buddy actually uses and uh he seems to be satisfied with it uh, I had the Versa Pro. The Versa Pro was all right. And then now I'm on NoCo, but <laughs> NoCo is a no-go if the alternator is not running. Oh, hell. I mean, it jumps. It jump starts good, but like I said, it's a no-go if the alternator is not keeping the vehicle alive. Down below, $134 for a three-piece spiral flute step drill set. I would honestly purchase that just for, um, <laughs> just for that bag. I like the color of the bag. But anyways, uh, step drill bit. Is it worth $134? I have no idea. Uh, four, four and a half inch, five piece, uh, long double cut carbide burr set. Not sure what you would need that for in the automotive field. Um, because I'm at a dealer, right? I'm at a dealer, so we're hardly ever needing that. I can't tell you one thing that I've needed it for unless it was on personal stuff. Eight piece miniature burr set for $123. $140 for a four piece double cut carbide burr set. Uh, 
$33 for a dual wheel tire gauge for the gauge. Uh, heavy duty dual head tire pressure gauge, $17. $351 for a calibrated universal screw oil injector. Tool? Oil injector. Battery terminal cleaner. Who even uses those any, anymore? Uh, I don't. Uh, 25 piece screw extractor set. Don't know what the hell that's for. <laughs> But uh, I'm sure some of y'all may know. Uh, five piece screw extract extractor set. Don't know how that's supposed to work. Uh, it looks like it doesn't even bite into anything unless you hammer the hell out of it. Um, $617 for a freaking sniffer. Oh man, see, they look and for a skill, $1,000. Man, see, they charge too much for AC diagnostic equipment. Classic colors without the weight. We got. Uh, I guess this looks very similar to the Edge series from Mac. But anyways, we're talking about Macco right now. This is 4S, also not 2S. So, uh, get jacked again. Mac had a flyer with expensive ass jack and trans jack and oh hell no, two thousand dollars for a half ton hydraulic air hydraulic telescoping trans jack, and then five hundred dollars. Oh my goodness. For a low profile jack uh harbor freight has one that looks damn near identical and uh for about a quarter of the price uh we got some oakley's down there we got some welding helmet and accessories we got a inverter dual voltage make stick okay so then that's basically a uh multi-process welder right there from matco porticles 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 uh if you're in a high humid area like i am they don't work that great when it's very humid that tank will last forever. Um, but if you're in a more drier area, then it, it works. It works damn good. So it does work when it's humid. It's just not working as efficient, uh, but it does work nonetheless. Uh, down here we have a 12, oh, y'all can't see. But yes, down here we have a 12, 2436 conducted battery tester, uh, CAN FD adapter. Don't know what the that is for tire tread depth gauge accessory for what i don't know no pressure smoke machine well, smoke machines are stupid expensive uh easy connect evap uh, adapter set <clears throat> 200 dollars for a universal filler neck connector uh creates an airtight seal with any vehicle evap system eliminating the need for searching for the evap service port cheater <laughs> Programmable 315 mega, megahertz and 433 megahertz universal TPMS sensor four pack. Can you use those on anything? Uh, 680 millennia heavy duty, millennium heavy duty pro code reader. Not a fan of those. Um, advanced functionality. Maximus Android code reader pro. Hey, there we go. I'm, I'm digging this Maximus stuff. Why does it? Why do I feel like the camera is getting closer and closer and closer? Do I need to do that? Bring it in a bit? I don't know. Okay, maybe we changed up the angle a little bit. 541 piece connector set. I've always been interested in getting one of those. I just never bit the bullet on it. $156 for a compression vacuum fuel pump tester combo set. Oh, dang. I, that was hard to get off the tongue. Uh, $21 for screw off alligator test leads. Uh, a little, not bad for some test leads, to be honest. Uh, diesel compression tester, $474. Seven pin round trailer circuit tester, $63. Short open circuit detector tracer. Has anybody had any luck with that? And then we got a whole bunch of uh, Milwaukee stuff right here. Almost more than I can read. Uh, we got a two gallon wet dry vacuum, $184, uh, 1.6 gallon M12 for $195. So it's more with less capacity and less power. Uh, M18 pack out 2.5 gallon wet dry, uh, 293. You get a free service, uh, crevice and brush tool. And then I'm not even going to go through all this guys. Okay. You got a quarter inch M12 ratchet kit. You got a 3 8 ratchet kit. You got quarter inch stubby impact. You get a free battery. 
uh, high torque, mid torque, impact wrench. That's the one I got. We got M18 flathead braking grinder. Uh, M18 red lithium resistance battery starter. Oh, that's just for the batteries. Jeez, almost $600 for batteries. Paddle switch grinder, no lock. Uh, resistance battery starter kit, oh, 5.0. And then two gallon vacuum again. And we got free with the purchase of this, I'm guessing. Free battery. A Matco pencil holder. Why can't you just call it a cup? Uh, and then a Matco metal sign. We got some outdoor stuff. So we got some camping chairs with the table. We got firewood rack right there. Uh, cutting board, we got salt and pepper shaker. We got uh, coasters, seven piece manicure set, uh, race hex t-shirt, uh, football, women's football t-shirt. And then we got more women's and boys, uh, girls sport gray t-shirt. We got some rat fink stuff down here. Uh, we got a couple cats. Uh, shoelaces, oh goodness, and high socks. Then we got this. Uh, I can't wait till they come out with green. I'm hoping they come out with green. Uh, looks like we got a new color of these adjustable magnetic parts tray in blue. And then we have uh, $1 for the Fisher House decal along with uh, the Fisher House design toolbox. Uh, that is going to be a 4S. And then we have this. $45 tools for the cause folding knife so guys that is the matco flyer for this month i know it's a little late um i wasn't too sure if i was going to do it but you see it right there 56 to 528 2003 um number 10 that is the number 10 flyer okay don't miss out on this there's a couple good deals in here uh, some of this stuff is super expensive, but some of it, like I said, has some good deals. So with all that being said, there's one thing I need y'all to do, and that's like this video. Second thing I need y'all to do is subscribe to this channel. Third thing I need y'all to do, join that FM fan, baby. Anyways, I need y'all to check out these videos right here. Subscribe right there. Merch store should be right there. Links in the description. Deuce, we out. Bye. Shit my way So you can go kick rocks I'm a stack